This is Gemara Neir Vin Daf Chavav. This learning for Chodesh Elul is sponsored as Chos for Rishlein B'Shan Tevi B'Sester, as well as Chos for Nishmas of Esrizel B'Sher Meir. Of course, all Achilim Yidem Meir B'Nei Kiri Menu B'Mpikel Chaim Rama Chani Ita Chaim Ben Sar Shamsim Meir Zayid Dol Sar B'Askinan Dol B'Sim M'Schay Sar Yis Chaim Sar Asna Yusuf Yov B'Mindel Yer The President Shav Leia B'Shamim B'Sna Mi B'Shav Figur B'Shir Chana Fal Dov Mitur Yiva Daniel Ben Chana Rizal B'Sher Shal Chali Yisrael. We pick it up in the bottom over here in Chavav and Abayz. Again, we're discussing this area called Akar Faith, a large area that when it's larger than Beis Asayim, you cannot carry in that area. And different ways in order to make it into a residential area, thereby, yes, allowing you to carry there. So it says the Gemara Chavav and Abayz, that who have our nuka? There was an Avernuka, which is some sort of shady area, some sort of arbor, pavilion area surrounding, surround, uh, that's underneath a big tree. Then they used to still sit and enjoy and chill there. Probably the Rish Klusa, that ministers and uh, office and Sardom used to make this. Then Rish Klusa had this Avernuka, had this arbor bustin inside his orchard. Again, let's just pull up the picture, the one we saw yesterday. Here you see the orchard. Inside the orchard, you have this Avernuka. And you see underneath, they built all this area that it was a very nice area. They ought to sit and relax. Etc. So says Rish Lakish Amli Rahu Ravuna Amli Lir Ravuna Barchina Eleven Martikat Dil Machin Echal Namasam. Do something so that tomorrow we can eat bread there. I want on Shabbos to be able to go to my arbor, to the shady area, and chill there. So what do you do? Azal Avin Kana Kana Bachus Mishleisha. So he went and he built a fence three by three, less than three by three, leading to this arbor, as you see over here, this pavilion area underneath this tree. And he went and he made a fence leading up to that tree so that they'll be able to carry and get there on Shabbos. Meaning the area itself under the tree that seemingly the Gemara is taking on, you can, yes, carry it. It's its own secluded area. The question was, how am I going to get there? So he made a little fence leading up to get there. Says the Gemara, Azal Rava, Rava comes when we long to Chavava and Aleph, and what did Rava do? Shalfenu, he pulls out these staves. He says, You don't need them. It doesn't do anything. He held that you're allowed to carry inside the orchard, orchard, even without making the fence. What do you need this fence over there? He held an orchard as an area, which is like a quasi-dwelling area. And then, once you put this arbor here, once you put this uh, shady area, now it becomes an area that you live in, that you dwell in, that you chill in. And therefore, Rava held that there's no reason to make this fence, so he pulled it out. Also, Rabba, Rav Yeshua, and they furthered what Rava did, and what did they do? Naktinu mi basrei, they went and they took away the staves. They didn't even leave them lying on the floor. They took them away so no one should come and think they have to put them back in. Lamalchar, the next day, Eze Ravina le Rava. Ravina asked Rava the following question. Ir Chadasha, you have a new city, Moedula Mishivusa. Do we measure the edge of its town? We, I'm sorry, the new city is measured from the edge of Mishivusa, from where the people settle there. Vyeshana and an old city, Mechay Maisel, is measured from its wall. So what is a new city and what is an old city? A new city is one, which is what? Is first hukva, is first enclosed, and then later settled. Yishana, an old city, is Yashana Lusayv Hukva, is a city that is first settled and then the fence is made. So therefore what? Vainami in our case, says the Gemara, and this is the question, that Ravina asked Rava, Hainami Kukva Lusayv Yashva Dami, our case should be comparable to a case which was first enclosed and only afterward settled, and therefore it should not work. So what's going on over here? You, Rava, came along and you pulled out these staves. You seemingly all that you don't need them there. What's the reason? This should be like an area. First we had the trees, which wasn't a dwelling area. Then we built this arbor. So what's the reason that we're allowed to carry there? Why are you pulling out the staves? Amrli Rapapa Rava. So Rapapa comes along, and Rapapa supports Rahun Rage of Yeshua. Meaning, we had a fight over here. Rava and Rav Huna Brei Dreb both held that these, that these staves were not necessary. They were not necessary. They didn't need them at all. Comes along, and, and just as Rashi points out over here, it's important to know, Rav Huna Brei Yeshua was a Talmud of Rava. Comes along, Ravina, and Ravina asks, what's going on over here? It shouldn't work. I'm sorry. Ravina comes along, No, I'm sorry. Yes, Ravina comes along and he asks that you should, yes, require the sticks. Again, let's get our names straight. I'm sorry, a little bit confusing in the names over here. Ravuna Barchinina, he was the one that required the sticks. Ravuna, uh, uh, Ravuna, Braid of Yeshua, did not. 
So comes like Ravina, and Ravina said, he's right that you should require those sticks, because it was only later made into a residential area, and the fact that they later made it into a residential area by building that harbor should not have helped. Says the Gemara, Amar Lei Rabba Le Rabba. So Rabba says to Rabba, another reason why Ravuna Bar Chinina was correct in requiring an enclosure that this area you're not allowed to carry. Ravasi Mechitza Zadrach Lan Leishma Chitza. The Mechitza of of a partition is not called a mechitza. Alma, what's the reason? Keva until it's niusa avidla. Since when you create a partition, it's made just for tzni, it's made just for privacy. Lavi mechitza, it doesn't have a din of a mechitza. Ha chenami, keva that's niusa avidla, lavi mechitza. So too over here in the case where they made the shady area by the tree, it was not made to dwell there, it was made just for tzni, for privacy. That does not create a shame of a mechitza. And therefore, Rav Hunabar Chinno was correct on the bottom of Amr Beis in requiring a fence because it is not an area that you can carry. So that's already two reasons that you cannot carry. Comes along the Gemara and the Gemara gives us a third reason why you cannot carry unless you put in these sticks. Ve'omer, Avuna, Reidu, Yeshua, Le'Rabba, a third reason. Again, these are all questions on Rabba that Rabba was the one that didn't require the sticks. So question number one, they said to Rabba, what are you talking about? This should be like the case that first they made the city, only later they made the enclosure. The second question was, this is the type of case that this enclosure was made for sneeze for privacy and therefore shouldn't work. The third question says, if we have a mechitza, which is just made for storage, is not considered a mechitza. Rabba Ravua made an enclosure on the entire mechitza. That's the name of the city. Arsantye, Arsantye. He made the enclosure a siyasa neighbor by neighborhood. Why? Mashum Beirut Beituri because of the ditches for the oxen. And this is actually the picture that you see over here in Rashi, Beirut Beituri, that the oxen used to eat from the middle, and therefore they had to somehow enclose the whole area. So what did he come along and do? And he made an enclosures in the whole area. A similar picture. Similar picture, that, that which he did is a machlekis, we shine him, taste him, him, shot him. But over here, you see, according to Rashi, what he did was he made these fences in order to make it all one area. So, this area in between over here, you see, period of Eturi, this is where the oxen would, would eat and, and dwell. So then says the Gemara, now what's the proof from there? Over there, there were machitas, there were walls. But what were the walls for? They were there for storage. And, and yet it didn't work. So to in our case, the fact that there are machitas there, it should not work. And therefore, Rava, you are wrong. Rav, you said you don't need these sticks in the ground. It's not true. That was Ravuna Bar Chinda taught us that what he did for Ishlakish was correct. And you need those sticks to get to the arbor to get to that shady area on Shabbos. Says the Gemara. Called Rapap and Ravuna that they were Chachamim. They didn't know how to do good. They didn't have any knowledge, meaning they had a nice Kavana. But the bottom line is they messed up. And we see that it was incorrect that which they did by removing the wall, and you, yes, needed the wall to carry inside that orchard of Reish Lakish. Says the Gemara, the Reish Klus. Says the Gemara, Amar Avelai, Shamati Mervlazer Vafilu Base Core. This is the Mishnah. We said in the Mishnah that if a car faith is even the size of a base core, a larger area, you're allowed to carry there. Says the Gemara, Mas Nisan Delaki Chananya. We're holding about the second half of Ahmed Aleph, the two dots, Magmar of Ahmed. The Mishnah is not like Chananya. The Tanya going to the rise of Chananya. Imir Chananya says, Vavil, we are by him so, Kasar to Yashal Melech. Even if it is 40 saw, like the palace of the king, the front yard, the big large palace of the king, then you let it carry. So you see, the Mishnah is not like that, because the Mishnah says only up to a base core, which is. Which is, uh, yeah, and Rashi here does, does the math, the difference is 30 beysa, 40 beysa. Anyways, I'm Rabbi Yechran, Ushneim Mikrecha Darshu. And they both learn it from the same Basik, Shnemar, what does the Basik say? Vayihi. And we didn't work over there, there we go. This the line before. Vayihi Shayahu, La Yatza, and it was the Shayahu, did not leave El Chatzar at the to the middle Chatzar. Ksiv, what do we see in this Basik? Like, what does it say? Ha ir, the Karina Chatzar. And so we're talking about the city, and it calls it a chutzr, a courtyard. Mikan, what do we see from over here? That the royal sartiyas, the royal yards, the royal front areas of the king's palace were like mid-sized city. And this was the palace of Chizkiyah's palace, 
from the fact that it calls it a city, we see how large that it is. Says the Gemara, but my come So what exactly is the machlekes that we have? Whether the areas could be up to a base score, whether it could be up to forty saw. Myer savar ayara is paid in his avion base score, and therefore the maximum area that you can make this carve in this enclosure is a base score. O myer savar mem saw. And the Marza and the other my opinion holds Khanani holds it's Memza Avyan and therefore you have them till forty saw, which is basically ten saw bigger. So you have a machlik is exactly what's the maximum size of this car faith could be. Says Gemara, the Shayahu. My boy, awesome. What do Yeshayahu do over there in this tremendous area, this tremendous yard in front of a palace? Says the Gemara, Amr Abar Khan, Amr Abiyachim Alamid, Shachol Chizkiya Valk Yeshayahu, Vaishik Yeshiva Al Pischai. Yeshayahu was sick. And what happened? I'm sorry, Chizkiyahu, Chizkiyahu was sick. And when Chizkiyahu came ill, what happened? Yeshayahu came and he made a yeshiva al Pischai at the door, which is this tremendous yard at the front of the palace. And that's what he made in order to schus that the king Chizkiyah should get better. He said it'd be yeshiva that they could learn. Bikan, what do we see from here? Says the Gemara, the Tabachacham Shechala, Shemeshiva Yeshiva al Pischai, when the Tabachacham gets sick, we create a yeshiva by the entrance to the house, the palace, in order to get him better. But says Gemara now, Vlam Helsi, the Masla grew by Satan. You don't want to incite the Satan. You have to, you know, it's always a delicate balance. We, of course, we need Schosim. But if you bring all the Schosim right there to where the Chayla is, says Gemara, then there's a concern. It's going to make the Satan, whatever that means, more upset when he sees more entire learning. And therefore, don't do it at the entrance to the palace, or the entrance to where the Tamil Chacham lives. Says the Gemara, Bechain Shamati Yemenu. So now we're in the Mishnah. This is how we're going to conclude. And we're going to conclude the second Barak Barak Hashem of Erebin right now. The Mishnah concluded, Bechain Shamati Yemenu, they heard two more dinah from him. One din was from Rav Eliezer. One din was, Anshay Chatzir Shachar Echad Vlai Yir of Beisai Aser. We have a din of Erev Chatzir. It's something that we're going to discuss really more in the end of the Mesechta, not end, in a month or two. That by Erev Chatzir, the din is, we have, and we saw, we've spoken about many times, we have multiple Rishos Hayachids. And multiple chatziris, and you're not allowed to carry from one to the other until you make an ear of chatziris, until you make a joint uh, food or something that all the chatziris at some level join in together in some sort of food. So says the Mishnah, what happens if Anshe Chatzir Sheshokach Echad, one of the people didn't join in the ear of So he says in the Mishnah, Beisai, his house is Aser, is Aser for him to carry and the Chatzir. He, the guy who did not join in the Erev, cannot carry with everyone else. So the obvious deal, which we needed, this is a little bit of Akdama before we start the Gemara, the obvious implication over here is what happened. Let's say we have 5,000 in the Chatzir. One guy forgets to make the Erev. So he messes up everyone. No one can carry anymore. So what does he go and do? He goes and he says, I give up my rights in the Chatzar. I let everyone carry in it freely. So then what's the Allah? Everyone else in the Chatzar could carry in it freely. Because they now are given rights. Because he relinquished his rights. And he said, you guys are allowed to carry. So the other four people there are considered one entity. And they can carry freely between their Chatzars and his Chatzar, etc. However, he himself cannot carry from his house to his own Chatzar. Because he doesn't have an Erev. But he'll be able to carry from their houses to the Chatzar. Because he'll be just like one of them. He'll be like a guest of theirs. So again, he can carry from their houses to his chatzar. They, the other people in the ch- in the in the chatzar in the Erev, could carry from their houses to his chatzar. But he cannot carry from his house to his chatzar. Vla Erev be sai aser. Says the Gemara. For tonight, two lines on the bottom. For tonight, we learn to the Mishnah. Be sai aser lahay tilach lesloi loi ulahen. We learned in the Mishnah that his house is Aser, Loi, for him, Ulahen, and for them. Seemingly, it does not work to relinquish your rights, because seemingly this Mishnah teaches us that even they cannot carry, the other residents cannot carry inside his Chatzar. Amr Rav Huna, Brady Rav Yeshua, Amr Rav Shishas, Loi Kasha, moving on to Chavavah Mebeis, Ha Rav Elazar, Ha Rav Anan. This is Machlech, is Rav Elazar and Rav Anan, as the Gemara now is going, go, is going to explain. Kishatim is a lame relative, Rav Elazar, according to Rav Eliezer. Hamevatel rishos chatzeroi rishos beisai bito. Rabbi Eliezer is of the opinion that when the person goes and he is mevatel his own rishos, he says, "I give everyone else in the chutzur right to my house." Rishos beisai bito, his house is as well bottle. And therefore, the other people are allowed to carry there because he no longer has rights in his own house. However, the Rabbanon, according to the Rabbanon, I'm avatel beisai rishus chaseiroi. I'm avatel rishus chaseiroi. I'm sorry, rishus beisai loy bitel. According to the Rabbanon, when he gives up his rights in the chater, he re- he still has rights in his own house, and therefore they cannot carry in his house. Again, we're just trying to figure out at what level the other people in the chater have rights in his house, and thereby allow this erev chateris, this joint erev, this joint uh, ownership 
give in the chal on the one and whatnot, allows one to carry in another. Rabbi Lezer says, when I give away my chatzar, I give away my house. And that's like our Mishnah, that these people will be allowed to carry in my house and into their chatzar. The Rabbana now know, when you give away your chatzar, you do not give away your house, and therefore they cannot carry into your house. Says Marav Shita. Of course, that is the opinion of Rabbi Lezer and Rabbana. So Amar Rechavo, says the Gemara, Amar Rechavo, that's a person's name. I know Rabbi Lezer and Rabbana Tagminu, we learned it as follows. Loi Nitzcha, what's the case of Chamisha Shashur Bechazer? Similarly, like we said a moment ago, five people are living in one Chazer, Meshachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachach
And now the Gemara explains the flip side. According to Rabbanon, we all then normally it's not a bittel. It's not implicit giving away of your Rishos. If you went and you give it away, my time with Rabbanon, we shouldn't have your Rabbanon, Rishos, Chatsi, Rishos, Basil, I bittel. The Rabbanon hold normally it's not an implicit bittel. When you give away your Chatsi, you don't give away your house. But this guy, Amar Mivatzlina. Again, the first side is always the same according to everyone. When you say it explicitly, we have a side that it works. So according to the Rabbana, if you explicitly say, I want to give it away, it works. Or you tell more, or perhaps, time to Rabbana, Misham Doi, Ovid, Inish, Mizal, Gnafshi, Ligamri, Mivayis, Vachatzer. Ah, different Svara. According to the Rabbana, maybe the Svara is that one never gives away his entire house in Chatzer. That's too much. Vahave, Ki, Oyrich, Ligabayu, and therefore he's going to be considered like a guest with relation to them. And therefore, the fact that he says, I want to be Mavatlin, it's not in his power, because no one really gives away the whole, their whole power. And therefore, the Gemara has this fundamental Shiloh. We know this Machlech is early as in the Rabbanon if it's an automatic giving away. Again, in the case that one forgets to join into the Chatz. That Rabbi Liazar holds, you give away your Chatz, you automatically give away your house. And as well, Rabbi Liazar holds, you don't have to give away to each and every person, which is going to be like the Mishnah that according to Rabbi Liazar, once someone gives it away, everyone can carry in his house. According to the Rabbanon, if you give away your Chatz, you do not give away your house. The only way to do it is if you do it explicitly. Says the Gemara, according to Rabbi Liazar, if you say it explicitly, you're not giving it away. According to the Rabbanon, if you say it explicitly, you're yes, giving it away. Doesn't work. Do we say you say it explicitly? Or there's a new spark of each and every one that according to Rabbi Lazar, we say that it's not normal to have a house without a chatzar. And according to Rabbana, we say that no one gives away the whole house in the chatzar. Says the Gemara, Omar Lehi, he answered, Bain the Rabbanon, Bain the Rabbi Lazar, Kim the Gali, I think the Gali, the first part is correct. Once you say explicitly, I'm giving it away, you gave it away, and that's the end of it. And therefore, both the Rabbanon and the Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar holds you could hold back and you could not be in Vatalit, and the Rabbanon holds you could yes be in Vatalit. That is the end of that discussion. Says the Gemara, as we finish the paragraph, concluded that I also heard from Liazza the Ladabi Yaitse Mar with a Krablon. Says the Gemara, my our Kablin, I'm sorry, I'm Reish Lakish, Asvasa, Haruzaisa. Karuziyasa, it's an intertwined vine that goes around the trunk of a deep palm tree Rashi here at the end of the Rashi over here, as you see, points out, and that's a certain type of mar. That's what he held. You can, yes, be Yoytzei Mar on Pesach, Hajjun Allah, Chaisen Basin, we should return, we should do Chazara, we should try to make a kinyin on this wonderful second barrack. Who would have thought how many of us, when he began Erevin, thought how terrible and dreadful and difficult Erevin was, and Baruch Hashem, we're here. Hopefully, we'll be Zeichet to learn many, many more Prakim together just to start the next parak, Bechol Ma'arvin, with anything you can make. Or you can make a sheet of chot min amayim min amelech. Set for water and salt. This is going to get involved in alachas veir chateiros. We have to join together into making an eruv. We'll pick it up from here tomorrow. Mirza Shem.